Welcome to the latest edition of Inside Carolina. I'm your host, Hannah Horn, a proud alumna of the university. What an exciting year for Gamecock Nation. In this episode, we're gonna take a look back at some of the many highlights in 2022. So join us as we go Inside Carolina. <laughs> In April, our amazing women's basketball team took home their second national title, defeating the Yukon Huskies 64 to 49. The team finished the 2021-22 season 36 and two overall and undefeated at home. After the win, Gamecock celebrated in style with a parade down Main Street and a visit from our very own Darius Rucker. In November, the Gamecock football team finished out its regular season in spectacular fashion with back-to-back -back wins over Tennessee and Clemson. After a hard-fought road victory in the Palmetto Bowl, fans gathered to welcome the team back to Columbia. We welcomed Michael Amaritas as the university's 30th president in July. Amaritas returned to USC where he had served previously as both dean and provost after seven years leading the University of Illinois Chicago. It was a year of excellence. Our undergraduate international business program earned the top ranking in the country for the 24th straight year. And the international MBA program continued to maintain its top ranking as well. We also earned the number one ranking from Military Times, a testament to our support for veterans and military service members. This year, our groundbreaking University 101 program, a model throughout the country, turned 50. And for the fourth year in a row, we earned the number one ranking for first year experience among public universities. This fall, we welcomed our largest freshman class ever. Nearly one quarter of those students came from underrepresented minority backgrounds. And for four years now, we held tuition steady. Over the summer, we announced an expanded partnership between the College of Nursing and Lexington Medical Center that will help the university meet the need for more nurses in South Carolina. It was a big year for civil rights history at the university. We chose a sculptor for the university's desegregation statue, which will honor the three students who desegregated the university in 1963. We announced a $1.5 million gift from Boeing to establish the James E. and Emily E. Clyburn Endowed Chair of Public Service and Civic Engagement. We also received a $1.5 million gift from Williams, an energy infrastructure company, to fund civil rights education. The gift came about at the suggestion of alumna Kelly Adams, a Williams employee and South Carolina native. And we announced plans to name a residence hall after renowned African-American educator Celia Dial Saxon. If you haven't been to campus recently, you might see some big changes. We opened a completely renovated dining area called Gamecock Park in the Russell House Student Union. We made great progress on Campus Village, an ambitious building project that will transform South Campus with modern residence halls, new amenities, and lots of green space. And if you've been to williams Bryce Stadium this fall, you have seen firsthand how we've enhanced the already great game day experience. Last but not least, we heard you loud and clear, Gamecocks, and we brought back the name you know and love. USC is here to stay. Thanks for joining us for this latest edition of Inside Carolina. We appreciate you joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and fellow alumni. Happy holidays from all of us here at Carolina, and we'll see you in 2023.